Stone Soup by Jess Jockham. A cold winter's day many, many years ago, a band of weary wanderers arrived at a small village on the edge of a large wood. They had been journeying for many days and they were hungry and tired. At last, said their leader, a large friendly dog, warm fires, friendly faces, and a nice hot supper. Yes, said another dog. I'd give anything for a bowl of carrot soup right now. Or a big hearty stew, said the leader, with potato or pasta or rice. There's a dog. In the next As they started to unpack their belongings for the night, however, they d noticed that the village was very quiet and seemed empty. Not many lights in the windows, said one, and there's no smoke from the chimneys. There's no one about, added the leader. I wonder what's wrong. They started to put up their tent before they started to put up their tent. Before long, the door of one of the cottages opened. An old villager came out. It's best you move on, he said. It's been a long, hard winter. He and we have no food left. We cannot feed you tonight. We cannot even feed ourselves. One by one, the other villagers came out of their houses. We are poor and hungry, joined another. We cannot offer you food. Be on your way. Don't you worry about that, said the leader. We're going to have a hearty stone soup. There will be enough for you, too, if you like. I never heard of stone soup, said the old villager. I is it good? Good, said the leader. It's the most delicious soup you will ever taste. It's hot, tasty, and filling. All we need is some fi wood for a fire. Well answered the villagers. We might have a little bit of wood in return for a bowl of your most delicious stone soup. Before long, the wanderers had built, built a roaring fire from the wood the villagers had found for them. They put a large cooking pot on it, filled with water, and soon it was boiling busily. The villagers came out to stand around the fire and held out their hands. It's good to be warm, they said. What a good idea to put all our wood together. The leader reached into the cart and pulled out a bundle. He unwrapped it carefully and revealed a large stone. Is that it? So the old, the old villager asked. It, it looks just like an ordinary stone. Have we wasted our precious firewood for that? It's no ordinary stone, said the leader. It's a stone soup stone. As, and he dropped it into the boiling water. The cook dipped in a spoon and tasted the liquid. Is it good? The villagers asked him eagerly. Mm, not bad, he said. But it needs a little salt. He turned to the leader. Do we have any salt? The leader shook his head. I don't think so. It's no good without salt, said the cook. I'll have to tip it away. Wait a minute, said one of the villagers. Let me see. I might be able to find some a little salt if that's what it needs. The cook dipped in the salt and tasted the soup. Mmm, much better. If only we had some parsley. 
Wait, called out one of the villagers. I may know what a little pla a parsley is. I'd forgotten all about it until now. And off he went to his college to fetch it. I don't suppose anyone has any carrots, have they? Asked the cook. It's very good with carrots. Yes, a small voice called out. My father has some carrots hidden in the loft. Does he have some pepper too? Asked the cook. If he doesn't, I have, cried another. I'll go and get it. Before long, all the villagers had remembered bits of food and seasoning to go into the soup. Only the old villager had refused to give anything to the meal, saying he had no food in his house at all. Everyone stood around the cooking pot and breathed in deeply. The soup smelled perfect. <laughs> Is it ready? A small voice asked. We all started hungry. The cook dipped in his spoon and sipped the broth. No, he said, shaking his head. What it really needs now is an onion. Everyone stared at their feet and shuffled uneasily. Then, one by one, they all turned to look at the old villager. He turned red and he muttered, All right, all right, I might have an onion in my house. Just one, mind. And off he shuffled. After a while, the old villager returned, carrying the biggest onion you could ever ask for. Everyone cheered as the cook chopped it up and threw it into the soup. Even the old villager smiled a little. Everyone at that feast swore it was the finest soup they had ever tasted. It was piping hot, rich, and filling, and there was enough for everyone to have at least three bowlfuls. After they had eaten their fill, the villagers brought out their fiddles and their flutes and danced late into the night. The next morning, the wanderers packed up to leave. Won't you stay a little longer? The villagers begged. The leader reached into the cart and brought out the stone wrapped once again in its bag. This is for you, he said, but it will only work if you all cook together and if any everyone brings something to the feast. Then the villagers thanked him warmly and sat to plan their next supper. The wanderers finished their packing and set off towards the next village. Once they were out of sight, the dog bent down and picked up a large stone at the edge of the path. Just in case, he thought to himself. The end.